Hello everyone, it's DA here. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2020. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing fantastic. So there is no doubt that we as gamers were dealt a series of bad blows and some disrespect over the years, even in 2019. We didn't just deal with poor designs and unfinished products. We also dealt with poor gaming engines and poor optimization. But this year, let us talk about things that you as a gamer can do to improve your gaming experience other than not buying every single game. Yes, we're going to be talking about hardware upgrades and we're going to be talking about doing it for cheap and affordable prices. Gaming specs are not slowing down, but there are a couple of affordable hardware and models that you should start with. The first one is going to be your SSD or what is known as solid state drive. You could either get the regular ones or buy the M.2 NVMe cards. This type of drives use what is known as a flash memory, so their read and write speeds are a lot faster than your regular uh, hard drives or your regular optical drives. And since all next gen consoles will also be coming out with SSDs, they will become superior to a lot of PCs if you're still playing on a mechanical drive. This also means that the extent of optimization for a lot of new games will be limited since a lot of developers tend to cut corners because of console but in this new generation they won't have to cut all those corners anymore they will just be going full steam ahead so you have to be aware of that having the ssd cuts down the loading times in a lot of these games and it would also cut down the installation times as well so you need a ssd and you can start with a 256 gig or a 512 gigs of SSD, at least to install some of the newer games or even some of the older games to make them run better. The next item on the list is going to be the RAM. RAM is relatively affordable and can go a long way when it comes to performance in PC in general. I will say that you need to have at least six gigs of RAM on your PC. I might even push it further and say you need to have eight gigs of RAM on your PC. If you noticed, over the past two years, video games have been releasing with minimum specs of six gigs here and there. Everybody is not going lower than six gigs. And if you intend to be able to run some of these similar games or even newer titles in 2020, you need to have at least six gigs or above. That itself just puts you in a safer margin where you don't have to keep on trying to upgrade or dealing with hardware limitations when it comes to some of these newer titles. The final part of this video, which is going to be the third part, is going to be the graphics card and we are going for affordability without sacrificing quality. The goal is going to be a GTX 1060, however, we all know that Everybody cannot afford a 1060. It's still one of the best cards out there. So when we're talking about affordability, you can also get things done with a 1050, a GTS 660 at the lowest. You can also go with a lowest of Radeon 7870 or a RX 570, all at four gigs of memory. The memory of this graphics card is very, very important. I will say you might be okay with two gigs of memory. However, the standard, at least when it comes to the lowest of the lowest, I will say shoot for four gigs on the memory of those graphics cards if you are able to do so. These three things are a must have because it is within your control. You can make changes on them really quickly. You can even install those things yourself so it doesn't need any special type of training. You can watch tutorials and learn to install them yourself. And that is one of the main reasons why we have this. Now, if you do one and two first, that will be the go-to, which means your SSD, then your RAM, then your graphics card. Even if you cannot afford a graphics card yet, one and two is very, very important. Upgrading your RAM and switching to SSD can make your games a lot faster and smoother. So if you ever plan on saving for hardware upgrade this year, instead of just going ahead and buying a whole new PC, then you can just go based on this checklist. If you are already good with the RAM and the drive, then you can save up for the graphics card. And to be honest, every one of these things doesn't have to be brand new. You can buy used items, but just make sure that they're in great condition and have a great performance as well. You can get a 4 gig 1050 Ti for as low as 70 bucks or a 4 gig 1060 for around 150 bucks. A SATA drive can go for as low as 20 to 30 dollars 
and you can also get two 8 gigs DDR4s for as low as $60 or $70. So that is also affordable. Now, be sure to look up your PC online to see the upgrade capabilities. Some of you may only have a DDR3 slot, and I know that is crazy in 2020. Now, if you're one of those people who is gaming on a laptop, that is going to be a hard one because for a lot of laptops, the only thing you can upgrade is the hard drive and maybe the RAM. So just go for the hard drive and the RAM. Now, if it comes to the point where your graphics card on your laptop cannot run it, you might just have to start looking into a desktop or buying a whole new gaming laptop. Anyways, these are going to be my checklist of things that you can do to upgrade your PC in 2020 at an affordable price under 300 bucks. Also, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. I'll see you in the next one.